Hey everybody, it's getting closer to Halloween and I have um, a haul to show you. Um, I've been picking up some stuff here and there and um, I want to go ahead and uh, show you what I've gotten so far. Then that way I can start like processing the stuff in my house instead of having to save it in a big heap before I show you. Because I like to do the hauls too because um, it is a lot of fun to uh, see the things that I've gathered up and uh show it to you all at once and um it's you know kind of fun this time of year because i'm trying to process how i'm going to decorate my house this year for halloween and um you know when i start getting all my stuff together and everything it starts really uh you making my wheels turn and i get an idea of what i'm really going to be doing but anyway i'm going to go ahead and i'll start with my uh dollar tree stuff because i'd say it's probably the most stuff that i've gotten so far i've got everything kind of around me here so um usually i don't buy a lot of the uh die cuts um i did buy one last year but it was just like the outside circle thing and i don't remember where i got i think i got it from a consignment shop but this one i thought was cute because it's the uh you know the haunted house and i feel like there's a lot i can do with this i'm kind of excited about it i feel like the bats are really big compared to the rest of it and i'm not really sure how i feel about that so um might take this apart and put it back together in a different way we'll see okay oh and this year i usually like to buy the small pumpkins i can use them to put on my my uh halloween tree and that kind of thing and they have the little metal clips on it so it makes it really easy to put on your tree or in any other you know like flower uh bat uh a vase <laughs> ah, tired anyway <laughs> but i found these ones that are like kind of peachy and they almost have like a little bit of a uh velvety type of feel to them i haven't seen this kind before uh, I think they're new to my store this year, but if they may have been in your store last year. It seems like Dollar Tree uh, does that, so, but I got two packs of those. Oh, oh, and I did get some of this velvet ribbon that they have. Oh, I really like this. I have a, I, I like velvet a lot, so um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I got two orange and i got this really pretty um like aqua dark aqua color and then i got a oh i got two of those aqua ones two of those and then i got also got a purple I might be able to use those in a wreath or something i'm not sure yet and i also picked up two of these picks that are striped like this i feel like i'd be able to do this use this in um, my beetlejuice theme i do have a few beetlejuice things that i've done in the past a wreath for my daughter's door and um i did make one of the you know the sand the sand snake thing i made uh one of those for her room so she has a few beetlejuice things and i think i can probably use these to add to that Oh, and I got some of these little green pumpkins, too. Um, oh, and this is the first time I've seen these at Dollar Tree. Um, I actually picked up three of these, and my son already took one. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm sure there'll be something good. So, two of those. And I also picked up a couple of these Buffalo Check pumpkins i don't really have an idea for these but i have a feeling in the next year or two i'll have wanted to use these for something and i wanted to pick them up now while they have them and dollar tree they'll stop making something and you wish you had it and you didn't get it and what do they call these they call these cupcake picks i got a set with bats and I think that the bats are a really good size. I'll probably take some of them off of the picks and just use the bats for different things. And I picked up some jack-o'-lantern faces. Same thing, picks. And then they also had just in the like Thanksgiving type section, um, some without faces. So I got those. I feel like I could always use those for something. And I picked up some of these little tiny bottles. I already have a lot of this kind of thing, but 
I have an idea for these. I want to make little um, either earrings or necklaces because they're so small and lightweight. And um, probably see a project using those coming up. And then I bought a couple of these because when I finally think of an idea to use to make the, something with these, then they're all sold out. So I went ahead and picked them up now. Um, I don't really have anything in mind right at the moment, but I'm sure I will think of something. Um, oh, and they had these this year. And you've probably noticed in the craft room, if you've watched my videos before, but up there in that corner is like, you know, a couple hundred bottle brush trees. So now I have one. This one looks like candy corn. And then they had this one with the black at the bottom. And these are pretty good for Dollar Tree. They're decent size. I mean, you know. Uh, so I got two of those, and I got two of the candy corn size ones, or looking ones. Oh, and my daughter picked up when she was in Dollar Tree. She saw these mushrooms in the Thanksgiving section. So she got these. She goes, you know, Mom, you could make some poison mushrooms with these. And I'm like, that's a good idea. Poison mushrooms will go well with my, like, witchy type stuff. So um, we can do that. And... Um, this is Little Owls. It's more Thanksgiving, but I thought it was really cute, so I went ahead and picked that up because when I finally think of something to use it for, it'll be sold out. Oh, and then their um, Cricut vinyl and stuff. I found some orange glitter and some plain orange, so I can use those for something. Okay, let me see if that's everything from there. I think that's everything from Dollar Tree. Um, Michaels. We'll do Michaels next because I have a decent amount of stuff I've gotten from there. I got this little set of jack-o'-lanterns. This is out of the um, Spooky Town section. So they're a good size to use in any kind of village or that kind of thing. So got those. And... Also picked up the skeleton reading like the newspaper standing under a street light. He's cute. Thought he might go well with the village. And picked up these stickers. I just like the size of them. They're kind of three-dimensional. Um, and I think I can use them with some of my little spooky houses. Um, I picked up this mostly so that I can tear it apart. I think that three is this was three ninety nine and I feel like it's not really worth three ninety nine, but it has a hand and I was thinking that I could use this somehow to make like a um, something for my hair or something like that because I think I can probably bend this pretty easily to make it look like something holding my bun or you know some something you know something I don't know yet we'll figure it out. Um. Okay, also, I picked up some of the die-cut shapes with these, like, creepy, creepy-looking kids and people on it. It has a picture on the back of it that has all of the pictures that you get with it. Um, use those in some way. Don't know yet. Most of the time, I pick up things because I like them. I don't necessarily have an idea yet. If I pick up a bigger item, I try to have an idea for what I'm going to do with it, but, um... The kind of the things that I'm looking for this year, I actually have not seen in the stores yet. Like for my theme, for my dining room and that kind of thing. So if I don't see in the next month or so anything that can go with that theme, I'm going to have to really get on to my crafting and make the items that I need instead of looking for them just to buy. Which is probably a better thing to do anyway, but whatever. Um, I went to, was that everything? Oh, I got this from Michael's. This was, this was one I was kind of excited about. Um, it took me a couple to find one that wasn't damaged, but I found this cat and he's got his little, his little, um, you know, treat bucket that kind of dangles in his hand. And he was $16.99 and I wouldn't normally spend this much, much for something, but there was only two left and the other one had a big scratch on the back of his head. So 
I wanted to get them while they still had them because I like this vintage style of cat. Um, and I also picked up, uh, in my previous video where I was showing how to make candles and stuff, I did eyeballs and I had to kind of come up with my own eyeball mold. So I went to Michael's today with my son and guess what they had? They had eyeball molds. This is for you to be able to make, um, I guess it's not necessarily what you have to use it for, but they show it where you're making the, uh, you know, chocolate bombs or whatever they're called so that you can put, make hot chocolate. But if I would have had this when I was making my eyeballs, it would have been a lot easier for my candle stuff. Let's see, I have, here's one of them that I made. I put it in this little glass and made a little thing for the bottom of it to stand. And one thing I will say, I'll say it again. I think I said it in my first video, the candle wax that you get in the little jars at Dollar Tree. Um, when I first did this, the, the red was on the eyeball, like, like blood streaks. And as it sat in the gel candle mix, it's become like food coloring and just kind of like dissipated into the gel wax. I don't know why, but anyway, that happened. And now I know, so I won't use that wax again for those. But eyeball mold for the next time I attempt to make my eyeball candles, which I will. I want to perfect that until I get it just right. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I went to Heart and Home. It's a store in my town and um, they were having a Christmas sale on, I'm trying to think of what, I did get some Christmas items, but I did buy a Halloween item in there because the Halloween stuff wasn't on sale, but their Christmas room was like 50% off on most items. So I'll save the Christmas thing for my Christmas video, but I did find this dish towel, trick or treat, and it's like really cool. It's heavy duty, very heavy duty. And, um, I just liked how vintage it looked and I can't wait to use this somewhere. Um, I feel like I can use these in the bathroom if I take them and unfold them and re-iron them a little bit wider than like how you would have it hanging in your kitchen. If you take it and you just fold down the insides just a little bit and leave it like bath hand, hand towel for your bathroom size, I think these work fine in there. Not like anybody's using them. You just have them in there for decoration. So this might end up being a bathroom decoration. We'll see. We shall see. At this point, it's a mystery to me too. I mean, I kind of have an idea of all the themes I'm going to do this year, but I don't have it like completely planned out until I actually start to do it. We'll see. Okay, let's see what else. Um, I'll show you Dollar General. I've only gotten one thing from there so far. And that's because, um, do you remember last year Dollar Tree had those squishy um, pumpkins and ghosts and that kind of thing? Well, Dollar Tree this year, ha or Dollar General had little mummies. So I bought two of these little squishy mummies to go with the other stuff that I have from Dollar Tree last year. That's all I've seen in there so far. I was on vacation last week, so I haven't really gone to all the stores since I've been home. But, um, you know, they didn't have that much out before I left. So, and I get tired of going to the stores all the time. You know, I'm not one of those people who likes to go and check it out every single day. So, you know, once or twice a week's plenty for me. Okay. Um, I got a couple things from Walmart. Why don't I show you those? So, I did pick up a jack-o'-lantern fabric. It looks like this. I haven't taken it out of its wrapper yet, but, you know, I've been making the shoes and the purses and stuff, and I thought the um, jack-o'-lantern could be good for something like that, too. But it's like now it's getting to the point where how many pairs of shoes can I make? I want them all, but, you know, I don't want to be, you know, not having any regular shoes left because I covered them all with Halloween fabric. But since we're on the topic, I'll go ahead and use my purse and my purses and stuff as part of my haul too. 
So here was my pumpkin or my cat purse that I made and this is from Bath and Body Works little ghost with the glittery um, tassels hanging on the bottom of it so you can use your hand sanitizer but there is my um, cat purse and here are my cat shoes to go with my purse I've already worn them a couple of times and here is the ghost purse that I showed you guys how to make, which is super cute. Pocket on the back. Let's see, open up. Super cute. If you're just wearing black, like it would have matched me pretty good today, but today I'll use the cat one. And I also made a tiny one that is um, cats, owls, and jack o lanterns. This one's a good crossbody bag when you just need just your ID and that kind of thing, a little bit of money, maybe some lip gloss bone. And um, that's that one. And here's the other shoes that I made that I absolutely love. Um, so much fun to wear. And I can't wait till it gets closer to Halloween so I can wear them more, more often. Okay. If you want to see that video, you can go back and watch. Um, it was a couple weeks ago. It was a really fun video to make. I was trying to get a little bit more fancy with my recording and stuff. So, you know, I'm not as good as some, but I'm better than I was. What can I say? Okay, so I went to Target a little while ago. And um, they had um, this authentic witch's brew thing that you can put your drink in. You know, like your beer bottle or whatever, or your can. So I thought that might be fun. They also had these little wooden cauldrons. It says Witch's Brew. And here are some little mummy hands coming out of the ground. Or little uh, zombie hands, rather, coming out of the ground. I picked that up. And I think, I think that's all I got from Target. Because they don't really have much out yet. Um, did I show you? Oh, Walmart. I did have a couple more things. I picked up this t-shirt, Momster. I liked that it was green and it has bats and I love the creepy writing. Um, can't wait to wear that. I think it'll look good with a black cardigan or something like that. Maybe under a flannel with a little bit of green in it. And I did pick up this bandana for my doggy, Bean. Because um, we call her Beanie Boo. So she can wear that for Halloween. And she'll be super cute. And here's, um, I went to TJ Maxx and I got a few things. I got my first piece of Joanna Parker. And that's this. I like that it's small so I can put it like in a corner somewhere and not have it taking up a ton of room. Because if you have as much Halloween stuff as I have, after a while you try to stick with smaller things when you're picking them up. Because, you know, if you're buying things that you really like, you don't want to get rid of them to replace them with newer things necessarily. So eventually you just kind of, you kind of run out of room for things. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with all my Halloween stuff. But, you know, I guess that's a good problem to have. And I picked up these really pretty dish towels. I did not plan on buying more, but I saw this and I just loved it so much. It's got the witch on the broom. It's got the haunted house. It's like it couldn't get much better. It's got beading. It's it's actually super super pretty, and um, it was pretty affordable. Seven ninety nine, seven ninety nine, and it came with a second towel that's got spider webs on it. So I could use this in my other bathroom, um, do a spider web theme. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I can't wait. Good problems to have. And the last thing I got from TJ Maxx was I got um, this bowl. It's a good size bowl. So I can use it in my kitchen to hold my fruit for Halloween. Um, it's really cute. It's got these bats all over it. And this was $9.99. It's good, good weight. It feels like it's pretty sturdy. And um, I'm excited. I wasn't even looking for a bowl like this, but I saw it and I liked it. So... Um, here we go. We'll be using it this year. Okay, Salvation Army. Um, I found, this doesn't seem like a, it's not actually a Halloween item, but it's going to be. So I found 
this bird cage that you can hang on the wall. It's got this hole in it where you can, you know, put something up in here if you want to. So I picture this being like, I'm going to reface the inside of this right here and put something different on the inside. I can hang it on my wall. It's going to go well with my theme in my dining room and I can't wait to use it. And I didn't, I didn't, I paid $3 for this. I don't know where it came from originally. It looks like something that you would get from Michael's or something. But my plan is something good with that. So, And I also, I don't know if I've showed this before in another haul, but I found this cat that I'm going to paint black. It's going to be like a Binks type situation. Um, and his tail hangs over a shelf like that. See, that's kind of cute. And um, I can use this somewhere in my kitchen. this I've been reading this hocus pocus book it's got um it's got the sequel in it see the all new sequel so I've been reading that although reading when I do it it makes me really sleepy so I have a hard time uh, reading too many pages at one time because probably because I need new glasses but whatever um and let's see let me move the stuff off of this and I also got at Salvation Army this scale. You know, it works. I'm going to jazz it up. It's not going to be red when I'm done. But picture it like in like a witch's apothecary or something. And you got your plate up here with either your witch's herbs or bones or, you know, a brain. Or who knows what a witch might put up there. Who knows? But up here on top of this, and, um, you know, the apothecary would be where you go to buy your, you know, witch's goods and that kind of thing. So, I don't know what, as a witch, that I will be weighing out for you to purchase. And, the last thing is totally not a Halloween thing, but it will be used as one. It is the shelf that I got for $5.99. And this is what it looks like look at this it's a decent size it's got some spider webs that came with it so it's already creepy but i'm gonna paint this probably black i think maybe white with crackle finish i don't know yet but picture this with all of my um do i have any here here's one twist around there but here's one of my bottles i made it's got a raven on it but see how that looks on there i think i think filled up with bottles i think this shelf will be absolutely awesome in my kitchen on my island i think it'll be perfect and i can't wait to use it it just needs to like not have not have the flowers somebody did a good job painting them on there i'm not saying that it looks bad it's just not how i want to use it anyway i think that is all of my Halloween items that I've gotten so far this year and I really don't need a whole lot of Halloween stuff because I already have so much and I do have a few things that I would like to find I don't know exactly what they are yet but I do know that I'm looking for some specific dinnerware for a piece my table is a lot smaller now um, but I haven't seen what I'm looking for yet. TJ Maxx didn't have what I was looking for. And usually they have a pretty good selection. I don't have a home goods close to me. Um, I guess I could look on Amazon. But I just, I'm not seeing so far um, the look that I'm going for. So I might end up having to DIY that too. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I hope you like the things that I've gotten so far. And I hope you're getting excited about Halloween, too. It is the most fun time of year. Christmas is fun, too. But Halloween is magical. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.